Hello, I'm Talia Andrews and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. British Airways, American Airlines and Iberia are set to merge after receiving the final approval from the US Department of Transport. BEA Chief Executive Willie Walsh said the UK-based carrier had waited 14 years to bring the benefits of a transatlantic joint service to its customers. He added that the US Department of Transport and the EU will work together to ensure the airlines give up slots for competitors on a regular basis. Monarch has announced an 11% increase in summer seat sales compared to the same period last year. The airline is set to handle 300,000 UK passengers between the 22nd of July and the 8th of August. Popular routes include the newly launched Gatwick to Mallorca service, which has received 9,000 advance bookings, and other Spanish destinations, including Barcelona and the Canary Islands, which have seen a 40% rise in bookings. Meanwhile, packing light will reduce aircraft weight and fuel consumption, according to Thomson and First Choice Sustainability campaign Holidays Forever. A study by the group revealed that only 16% of passengers use and wear everything they pack, while a third of respondents admitted 25% of their suitcase contents is not used abroad. If this excess was left behind, Holidays Forever estimates it would save more than 7,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide a year. In other news, South Africa Tourism will embark on a UK roadshow in September to boost arrival figures following the World Cup. South Africa Tourism Trade Relations Manager Matt Armstrong told Travel Daily that the organisation will take the opportunity to promote the country and fill spaces on fam trips. And finally, the new Minister for Tourism and Heritage, John Penrose, visited the new Manchester Visitor Information Centre early this week as part of his Northwest tour. The centre opened last month following an investment of more than £800,000 from Manchester City Council and the Northwest Regional Development Agency. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.